This is FF2, the primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFPU. Thank you again for listening to the third episode on uh, the 30th of April 2016. And as always, I want to welcome my co-host. Hey guys. Nelly is back again. And we yeah. are back at it again with, um, I guess, the least Austrian movie. Yeah, we like we we tried to to do something different this time. Yeah, this time not a it's a mainstream movie we're doing. Yeah, yeah, very mainstream, very Hollywood, and it is you could could have guessed from the title, Last Action Hero, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie from 1993, um, directed by John McTiernan. Yes, who made Hunt for Red October, Predator, and Die Hard. Exactly, where references of those movies actually show up in the in the in the in the movie itself. Yeah, that's right. He makes reference to that, but let's go to that later. First, it's uh, still, um, I guess, one of Arnold's more of his prime movies, or at the end of his, because it's the nineties. His yeah. career is winding down, winding down a bit. Yeah. He's not the action star from the 80s anymore. That, yeah, that's the time where he starts to make comedy like Kindergarten Cop. Yeah. Well, and uh, this Twins movie. Oh, yes, yes. Hey, Twins is great. No, nah, I'm not saying it's bad. Movie. Twins is a badass movie. We actually could have... could. So the, the connection, of course, is Arnold Schwarzenegger, who is Austrian by descent. And so that's how we... That's our workaround <laughs> to, to allow that on our channel, um, on our show. So uh, let's start with the script um, because it's a, I guess, because it was panned by critics when it came out. Yeah, totally. And it got killed at the box office because it came out at the same week as, uh, or in, in like seven days uh, to Jurassic Park. Yeah. That's like coming out next to Matrix or, or Avengers now. Yeah. You just get destroyed at the box office. There's, there's no, 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 no doubt about that. And you have to say Jurassic Park as a blockbuster movie is way more mainstream than this. Because Last Action Hero is more of a love letter, I think, or a satire maybe. Yeah, yeah. It's because in retrospect, you... you at least I saw it as that the script was written in a way to make fun of action hero movies in a delight, not in a not in a um, harmful way. Yeah, like yeah. like they, they make fun of it, but they, they still have respect, respect for, for for, for the, the early, for the for the action, action movies. Yeah. yeah, for for Die Hard, for for uh, Basic Instinct, but that's more that's thriller. That's, that's, I, Sharon right? Stone uh, appears. Yes, yes. We have cameos out of the ass with that movie. Like, Ani was dragged in basically everybody that he yeah. knew. Like, Jim Belushi shows up. Uh, um, who else? Um, uh, Ian McKellen. Robert Patrick as the Robert pa Yes. Um, then, um, basically, yeah, Warner Brothers property yeah. shows up. It's, it's, it's like... Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yeah, Jean-Claude Van <laughs> Wow, he looked good in that movie. Yeah. Like '93 Van Damme, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no to '93 Van Damme. '93 <laughs> Arnold, yeah, he already has that kind of leather face look that he later on got <laughs> from yeah. being a California governor. Um, but yeah, um, yes, it's uh, at least it seems to me that way. That is that it is more of a parody, maybe. Yeah, it's a parody and. Uh, like next, a between next, uh, between a uh, satire and a parody. Yeah, but also an homage to to all the yes. That's the word. Um, an homage to all the yes. action movies and, that came out and at it's, the time. And it's self aware. Very self aware. Because you have Arnold talking to the screen. You have a kid, the sidekick, who is 
actually kind of the protagonist of the movie. Yeah. It's like the, the person you want to relate to. Yeah. And, he, and, and he, he's actually yeah. pretty smart for a kid. Yeah. And he references a lot, a lot of movie scenes from other movies, like Die Hard. Yes. Like, like he, he wants um, uh, what, Jack Slater, yes. the Arnold Schwarzenegger Arnold, character. Played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Played by Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie itself, too. So Arnold Schwarzenegger plays Arnold Schwarzenegger playing plays Jack, Slater. Jack Slater. Anyway, what I want to say is there's a scene where there's a dead bad guy. Yeah. And the kid wants... Him Jack to Slater to check check if he's dead, and he and but Jack Slater says no. I know he's dead, but then hey, but what about the bad guy? In, in every Hard? movie, in every movie, in but every, the, but in Die Hard especially. But, yeah, it's in Die Hard, the guy who was hanging, who had a chain around his neck, and he was like surely dead, but then he showed us the blonde guy. The blonde guy. Yeah, yeah with the with the AUG with, with the Steyr AUG. Yeah, damn good gun. Yeah, rifle. <clears throat> so yeah, that's that's an example. Yes. Yes, uh, very self-referential, very, very... Um, and, of course, uh, you couldn't have that without, like, going through all the cliches. Sound cues. Like like the, 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 the xylophone. Yeah. When he went up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> he he stop, stops and the xylophone stops playing. Yes. And he goes back up again in the xylophone. All right, let's go, yeah, go to the... Let's go yeah, yeah. get back to that... To get, later but um let's talk again about the scripts i guess yeah. script no i don't i do okay. the audio editing right, right. La later okay. so right. so the story is a kid goes to a movie theater mm -hmm. he it's in new york and it's bad it's reality close to reality i guess yeah, yeah. and he goes to a movie an old fucked up movie in a bad yeah, neighborhood he's the only only the, the only kid the only kid in the movie theater because he knows the projectionist guy mm -hmm. who's like kind of a they man. never explain their relationship yeah, and, but i suppose he's like a grandfather figure, figure yes yeah. yeah because he's with his single mom who apparently has no yeah. fa immediate family except for her and he's so, so for a father uh, or a grandfather yeah. figure and he tells him this grand story about a ticket that he got from Houdini, who got it from some magician guy, who got it from somebody else. Yeah, yeah. And it's a magical movie ticket that takes you to places. And places, the kid, movies. yeah, and the kid is a movie buff in general, but he really loves Jack Slater, and he drops into Jack Slater Three, where yeah. where he. Um, yeah. Or isn't it actually four? Because early yes. they say yes. four, but then yes. later on the marquee it says Jack Slater three. three. No, no, Which exactly. No, no. The villain from so Jack Slater four goes into Jack Slater three to get this the butcher out. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, the ex guy. Yeah, right, right. right. Yeah. yeah. So the ex guy. So the, the the so they are in the fourth movie and Arnie is basically mm -hmm. playing the most cliche action hero ever like he's doing the one-liners he never runs out of bullets he's basically invincible everything except explodes everything ex everything explodes. explodes stuff just happens that's so crazy that you die yeah it's and yeah so he drops into that movie during a car chase scene basically resolves the movie in 45 minutes or something like that yeah. and they um, the, the villain of the movie acquires the ticket from the kid, yeah, goes the, into the real, real world. world, well, in the real world, yeah. like the, the real world in the movie, which is still a movie world yeah. in the end. Yeah. Because, And yeah, he starts to cause mayhem a bit. Yeah. He shoots a guy. He shoots a guy. He brings from, and because he has the ticket, he goes into other movies and brings uh, at least one, one, one villain from the earlier Jack Slater. Yeah, from Jack, Jack Slater Three. 3. Yeah, he brings that, that guy to um, kill Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. In the real world. In, in the real world. It's fucking wow. funny. Is, no, no. That's actually funny. That's that's really really well done. I I have never seen a movie that did the the thing about the thing. Okay, so we are probably gonna cut here and we're gonna be back in a minute. 
and we're back. Uh, we're back. Yes, now we have a live audience uh, for the first time at FFPÖ. Um, but let's move on and uh, talk about the, the, the storyline some more. So the evil guy gets the ticket, comes to the real world, tries to kill Arnold Schwarzenegger. The actor. The actor, not, the not Jack Slater. Jack Slater and the kid come to the real world as well and try to, um, yeah, stop him. Stop him. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And because it's still a movie, it's not real life. Um, they actually wind up um, having a happy ending and everything. And Jack exactly. Slater gets to, gets to redeem himself by saving, like his the kid who is basically the same scene as the third movie of his TV, uh, of his movie, of his Jack Slater movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah and he wins this time and the, the, the bad guy dies. Yeah, so that's it. That's right. That's pretty much but, it. Yeah, and the, of course, he brings Jack Slater. They bring Slater him back to the to, movie. And, yes. And, and he, saves by, he saves the day by just flat out saying all the cliches of movies. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and that's how the movie ends. Um... Yeah, so that's basically the script in its in, in its thin way. So, so yeah, the, the fast yeah. version yeah. basically. And let's move on to um, the next subject, which is <coughs> um, the best performance. Um, best performance. In my eyes, is uh, I guess either Arnie because he really pulls off the the the, the cheesy like a che really cheesy version, self conscious version of himself. But I have to give it to. The, the what's his name Lannister the the Tywin Lannister Tywin Lannister let's just call him Tywin, Tywin Lannister Lannister. because it's Tywin Lannister he's the evil guy one yeah. of the evil guys yeah he's the evil guy who the main main villain yeah. he's the main villain and he has this cliche uh, this red fa ball. yeah his fake eye who, who, who that, that thing assists him with aiming it's an aim assist yeah the but the, he has different version of the eyes and I don't know, they never explore the eye thing completely. They only yeah. show the crosshair thing one time, I think. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's about it. Also, it doesn't help your target. It doesn't. Because your gun is still... You, it sh whatever. It's, a it's, cr target no matter how. it's not a smart yeah. gun. It's yeah. not a smart gun. It doesn't like auto-detect what you see and shoot in that, uh, that direction. That sci-fi stuff that doesn't happen in that movie. But whatever, he's like, he chews the scenery. He's like prototypical evil. Yeah, yeah. And right. with his own gain. And the, the, the best scene I think he had was when he shot the, 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 the cab owner in real New oh, York. Right. Yeah. And he it's says like... I just shot a guy. Yeah. In the, yeah. <laughs> the scene is uh, he's in the real world and he just randomly shoots a guy and nobody really pays attention. Yeah, because it's New York. Because it's New York and it's real. Yeah, and yeah. 93 New York apparently was still a really, 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 really bad neighborhood. Oh, yeah, and they show prostitution and stuff like that. Good PG-13 movie. The end is really gruesome for a PG-13 movie, I think. Yeah, and it also starts to get really... Violent in the oh, yeah. final finale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jack Slayer gets like shot in the chest. <laughs> and they, I think they show it basically. That's the only on screen death I think they show, like properly. Yeah. Except for henchmen who just randomly die. <laughs> like the helicopter. <laughs> there was a helicopter. Oh, that was a good performance too. The helicopter was yeah. like class actor, the helicopter. <laughs> So what was what what was your favorite uh, performance? I would go with the same because all the other characters were kind of expendable and not quite remar remarkable. Remarkable, memorable. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. The only f the only other guy who kind of stood out was um, the the police chief. Oh yeah. The who was angry, also the angry police, police chief, chief, cliche guy, black of course, and he yells a lot. So much that he shatters glass at some point, and steam comes out of his ears. Yeah, steam, yeah, steam comes out. Yeah, yeah, he, he's he's also he's the second comic relief character, I guess. Yeah, and they also, by the way, say it out openly in the movie. What? In, in oh the, yeah, that yeah, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. you're the comic relief guy. Yeah, that's why you yell. All the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, amazing. That was that was, I thought, pretty clever. And the guy played the cliche perfectly. But again, not as memorable as, as Tywin, Lannister. Tywin Lannister or, or Arnie. Because the kid was okay, yeah, I guess. Okay, but at times you would he was actually pretty funny yeah. at some point. Because I actually had those same thoughts as he did. Like when he uh, pulled a gun on the, the corrupt cop. And he's like... Evil guys always explain, explain stuff. You. Yes, that's why you get caught. When yeah. you just shot him, that would be the end of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> and then he, and then he gets he explains it and that's why a pull gets a gun gets pulled on him. Yeah, you're not a genius yourself. Yes. Perfectly done, I think. That was really, really well done. So yeah, that was that was that was it for best performance. Yeah. It goes to Tywin Lannister. Again. Again. I don't know. Did he ever win something? I well, he's a pretty I, good actor. I think he did. W really well. He, I don't remember him from anything else. Uh, he played in Alien 3, though. Really? Yeah. What? Who? He, he plays the doctor in Alien 3. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Man, that's too long ago that I watched Alien 3. The, yeah, the worst, the worst Alien. Yeah. Now, nah, well... well Mm. Form, form was a little I don't count the worse. alien versus predator part because yeah. those are oh, those are those yeah. are shite. Yeah. yeah. So whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter from the cheap seats. <laughs> yeah, it is approved. Uh, uh, <laughs> alien free is spe shit. Spectators. Yes. So um, that's like live feedback that we get right here. Amazing. Um, <laughs> so. Um, yeah, let's let's move on from best performance and go to biggest moments. Um, the biggest moment for me, I guess, was when 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 he broke the fourth wall. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, that was that was. Why it was Tywin Lannister? Who, yeah, who broke? It was Tyler Lannister and, and, and Arnold. Both, both, both broke both the fourth wall. Again. Yeah. So, well, because, okay, so the kid actually breaks the fourth wall kind of in the movie. Yeah. Because he's in a movie and knows about it. So he is a, a spectator, actually. Yeah, yeah. So he breaks, constantly breaks the fourth wall. But those two who are in the movie, in the movie, so <laughs> they, they, they actually... Also break the yeah, which is more, I don't know, self-conscious, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Because the kid already knows that he's in a movie. And those two realize it, they basically. Re they realize it. Yeah, later. and apparently get the power to talk to the audience, <laughs> which is amazing for, to me. Yeah, so, so that, was, that was my biggest moment. But ah, the, fat guy, the fat guy funeral was also pretty f a pretty fun sequence. Yeah. Especially the, the scene where Arnie hangs from the elevator and the elevator collapses. Yes. That that was that was like <laughs> it was like scene by effect. scene. Yeah, first of all that and scene by scene well, shot by shot well, the last shot was Die Hard. It was very much like Die, die Hard. Yeah. He he was the Alan Rickman guy and fell off. <laughs> It was, exa it was the exact same shot. Yeah, it was the exact same shot. Uh, made, again, made by the same guy. I guess yeah. he just wanted to make fun of his own movie a bit. Which is amazing to have a director to direct a movie that makes oh, fun of your yeah, own work. That yeah. is like Stanley Kubrick making a 2001 Space Odyssey uh, uh, parody. Uh, parody. Yeah, It's like 
if he would make space balls, but only with 2001 references, mm -hmm. that would be so weird. <laughs> or, I don't know. I, I, I don't know anybody else who would have done something like that. Yeah. There's probably somebody yeah, out there. There's but, but I don't have it. Yeah, yeah. I don't have anybody in my mind now. Yeah, but still, like, really, really well done, I think, to just, yeah. you know, and the, nah. to have the guts to make fun of your own work is it's sign of... Always, it's it's always, a really uh, good sign. Or yeah. what, what, what it's do always, you uh, How do you say that? Um, <laughs> what's the word? American Remarkable. education Remarkable. system. Yeah. <laughs> Remarkable. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, I guess... Uh, the action sequences... Again, I have a fable, uh, like I really like practical effects and yeah, there's, so there's not a lot of CGI in that movie. And those practical effects do hit a certain funny bone, I guess, in, inside of me. And that's why I, I, I really adore them. I, I, I don't know. I, <sighs> I have to it's be okay. rational, you know, and think about, because they are in kind of generic but try to rip off the the real thing from the real action hero uh, action movies from the 80s and it, it kind of works i don't know yeah yeah, yeah. my but my favorite moment uh is yeah. is um not counting all the action sequences yeah maybe the scene where arnie is in the well jack slater is yeah. in the real world yes a meets the kid's mom yeah and and he's <laughs> Sitting in the kitchen with her, yeah, and and uh, Arnie has this kind of uh, weird kind of grin. smile. This, yeah. this grin, like he's like off really, camera, like, <laughs> like he's not even in the movie, and he's like like a like a bad Madame Tussauds uh, rip off yeah. version of Arnie sitting there. Yeah, totally. Like you can't see just, that just because watch, yeah. watch that, you know, we, we yes, bust out yes, yes, he's that 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 was fucking hilarious. <laughs> That was really, really well. Done. Also, it, it kind of seemed like the kid caught them at like banging or something. Like, yeah, like yeah. They, they, they had sex like 10 minutes ago and they were like, oh, yes, we were just <laughs> we were talking all night. And that's all that happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. And Arnold is like, I, I talked to a woman for the first time. It's, <laughs> really, neat. it's really neat. Yeah. <laughs> amazing really really well done yeah that's a that's a great moment too yeah i have to agree but again oh and th okay so we have to do a funniest moment too i guess yeah so yeah. so funniest moment <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm i'm putting in the ha ha <laughs> yeah that, that's 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 perfect yeah um he uh, I guess the thing with the dogs really got me. The guard dogs. The guard dogs? From the oh, yeah. At the yeah, beginning yeah, of yeah, the yeah, movie. Yeah, we're the four pyramids. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like cheerleading dogs, something like that. And it's totally... It doesn't have anything to do with the movie. The dogs never show up again. They are irrelevant. It's a one-off joke, but it, it really got to me. <laughs> And for for you, it's the still the grin. Yes. Yeah, oh, okay. Well, intentional. Lame. Okay, intentional funniest moment. Let's try that because um, that yeah, was unintentional. Okay. That I was think. Completely unintentional. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, that's hard because there are some good moments there. Yeah, yeah, but I'm trying trying to remember. It's not really a, the most memorable mo movie, I gotta say. Yes, yes, and it it. It does drag on with two hour running yeah, time. That's kind of down in the downside of the movie that, that it drags on and yeah. it, it's it's very slow and it's and the movie's a little too long. It's it was yeah. like over two two hours. No, it was exactly two hours. Two, exactly two hours. Yeah, so, yeah it's a little or two hours long. and four minutes or something like that. For yeah, me, run, running time was too too long. But again, I, I appreciate what they tried to do and as uh, they oh, had yeah. travel pr production and they had uh, they released the movie uh one week after shooting so they only had a week to edit that movie oh, really? completely shit, so they, 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 they completed filming seven days before release which is never a good oh, thing to do because you need 
because normal production do at least two weeks of cutting. Yeah. Or, uh, long, or longer and that's a blockbuster pieces. production with Arnold Schwarzenegger you, you shouldn't cut in a week and you can't do reshoots like the the if if a scene dragged on or something like that they couldn't really work around that yeah. with reshoot reshoots or anything and basically every big movie do, is doing reshoots nowadays yeah. so yeah given that the the end result is still amazing yeah, <laughs> i guess it's still good. It's still good. yeah and arnie said that it was the best script that he ever read really? Really? at that point oh. well okay. he didn't do anything really remarkable after that yeah. it, well it, i mean in, in like the sense of how smart the script is mm. because this was this was the idea that behind it was quite remarkable yeah it was, it was the idea is really good. But yeah, solid uh, idea. Cons considering the, the kind of problems they had during shooting. Yeah. And the, the practical effects and everything. The, it, it takes time to, like, building a set and everything. And, and, and fuck, if you fuck up at one point, which happens during every big movie production, and you can't do reshoots, is fucked because yeah, if you don't do everything every step perfectly you you have to do reshoots at some point so yeah again but i had to have a funniest moment that was intentional yeah. okay it was in the real world again yeah where uh the bad guy hijacks a car yes a cab oh yeah that's... and arnie also hijacks a car yeah exactly and they, and they both like kind of uh do, do, do a jousting scene where both the cars crash. Yeah, they do chicken. They, they play chicken. They play chicken. Yeah, with cars. They play chicken with cars. And they both crash, and, and the way the, the cars, like, bounce up. Oh, yeah, with the, with the explosion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, small explosion. Yeah, that was pretty yeah. fun. That was that was actually a really good moment, especially because... Especially the, because it was, it, was, uh, it was shot from a camera far away from... The cars, you just see yeah, it yeah, distance. yeah. You saw it from the perspective of the kid, of basically. The kid, yeah. Uh, yeah, and it was like just they, they were driving off, and he's like, Oh, yeah, that's they are fucked now. <laughs> and it just goes, mm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> also, the cars move differently in the real yeah. world than in the action scenes in the in the in the uh, in the in the movie world, yeah. and that's amazing to me too that that amount of detail went into it because the, the car chase scene in the real world was kind of lame yeah it was it was like except for the end the end yeah. was great but the the, the 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 bit before it was boring yeah <laughs> oh and he shoots the trunk of the 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 the, the cab car and yeah. and he thought he would it explode it explodes. yeah <laughs> <laughs> is it bulletproof <laughs> oh great that was also pretty funny that was also a pretty funny moment so um Yes, let's let's go to the let's make this a quick episode mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. go to the last um, bit of um, of our podcast um, and that's basic. The, the problem is I couldn't find any one star reviews that actually reviewed the movie in German. They were all about the quality of the Blu-ray yeah, disc, yeah. which was apparently inferior to the DVD version, which is hilarious. <laughs> Um, and so we're just gonna press on and go right to the end and go to final conclusion and yeah so I think it's a movie worth watching but I, I will watch it again Hmm? Me you person, would? I wouldn't watch it again because like, maybe I will watch it like if, like five years from now. Yeah, exactly. It's 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 something you could you could you can actually make a drinking game out of it probably. Like yeah. every time there's a cliche or a trope, you have to drink and then you're dead at the end of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> or um, I don't know. You, you, it's definitely something you shouldn't watch it's alone. A classic. Yeah. Yes, and if you're a fan of Arnie, you definitely have to watch it because it's Arnie playing Arnie playing Jack Slater, which is amazing, and it shows off the the broad range that Arnie has. He can apparently play himself pretty well. <laughs> oh yeah, now, now that you mention it, yeah, uh, yeah, 
in the movie, he actually meets himself. Yes, he tackles himself. Ta tackles himself. Yeah, and he yeah. thinks... Are you my stunt double? Yeah, <laughs> uh, no, no, Arnold Schwarzenegger thinks that it, he's the best, that Jack Slater is the best... The uh, no, no, lookalike. Lookalike. Lookalike that he has ever seen. And Maria Shriver shows up and everything, yeah. his wife, and she's, she's, don't talk about restaurants. And he starts talking about Planet, Planet Hollywood. Hollywood. That's a really 90s thing. That are the, like the movie yeah. itself, super 90s. Yeah, cra crazy how, how they got from, from there. You know, that, not a Trigger and Arnold. Arnold, Arnold I'm not, having not, a fallout? Yeah. Or they had a fallout? <laughs> Falling out? Falling out? They had a fallout? Like, like fallout? nuclear fallout? fallout <laughs> metaphorically. Yeah, or, the, or they played Fallout. Yeah. Las Vegas edition. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, bad, bad, bad Fallout joke. Really bad. Bar game, bar bar <laughs> barely a joke. Barely a joke. So, yeah, I think you can... It's, it's a watchable movie. It's, it's certainly more entertaining if you watch it with friends. I wouldn't watch it alone, I think. Yeah, that would be that good. It's, you have to make fun of the movie or have fun together with the movie that's i think how you should watch yeah, watch that i agree yeah and Arne is definitely watch it in the original english yeah. and not don't watch it in german no because Arnie's voice yeah. is so much more fun especially when he says some things like i'm, I'm the famous it's comedian arnold braunschweiger, braunschweiger. <laughs> great just just amazing stuff really really austrian um and yeah, that's, I think, what's your conclusion for well, the movie? If you haven't watched it, watch it. Yeah. If you like Arnie, if watch it. If you like it. Arnie, watch it. If you like action movies. From Definitely. That, from that 80s, time, what 80s, you, 90s. Yeah. Action movies like Lethal Weapon or Die Hard or stuff like that. Yeah. Definitely watch that. Yeah. Um, it gets a FFP recommended seal, but recommended with, with caveats. Bam! Yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching, uh, listening, listening to, <laughs> listen, yeah, watch it yeah. in three D. <laughs> I can, I well, can enable, I can, I can uh, on YouTube, I can enable it in three D. The the podcast doesn't make any bloody sense. So yeah, we'll have fun with the movie, uh, and we will hear each other next time. Bye. Bye.